and our signature Benedicts. Celebrate summer at the Broken Yoke Cafe. There's a location near you. Large trucks can cause severe accidents. And if your vehicle was involved, the resulting injuries can be devastating. Don't wait. Call 8. The attorneys at Salino and Barnes understand the complexity of these cases and how to help you. If you suffered an injury from a truck accident, don't wait. Call 8. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, 800 888 -888. Don't wait. Call 8. Imagine windows and doors that complement your home's design aesthetics perfectly on the inside and outside of your home. When you choose Renewal by Anderson, you'll have endless design possibilities with more than 5 million color, frame, and screen combinations. But we all know looks aren't everything. Renewal by Anderson's windows are made of our premium quality patented Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and unlike wood windows, requires virtually no maintenance. For a limited time, buy three or more windows and doors and receive 20% off your windows and installation. Plus, no money down, no payments, no interest for one year. Hurry, offer in soon. Schedule your free window diagnosis and learn more about Renewal by Anderson's exclusive installation process, excellent warranties, and superb energy efficiency. Call to schedule your free window diagnosis or visit RenewalByAnderson.com. Renewal by Anderson. We love our new windows. San Diego, I don't know about you, but my taste in music is all over the place. But it all rocks. U2, ACDC, even The Cure. That's right. Sometimes I feel like a little Dave, sometimes a little Sammy. So if you like variety that rocks, hey, you've got a new favorite radio station. It's the rock you want, the music you grew up with, and the good stuff that's happening now. And if you want to wake up with a laugh, start it up with a DSC. 100.7 KFM BFM. Love your show. Heather Myers on News 8 Morning Extra, 7 to 9 on the new CW. Carrying shotguns and ammunition, a man goes on a shooting spree downtown. Question is, did he hit anyone? We're live. How does moving back to start time to school sound? We're live with a new bill pushing to do just that. And there's a new mayor in town. Well, sort of. He's got a familiar face, maybe a body too. We sit down with the Hoff and what he's up to right here in San Diego. News 8 Morning Extra starts right now. Live from the KFMB studios, you're watching News 8 Morning Extra on the CW San Diego. Good morning. We have the Hoff. We have the zoo, we have a new show, and we have you. Can you believe this? The launch of the CW San Diego right here. This is so exciting. We've been in rehearsals for a couple of weeks now, yes. and we have just been anticipating launching this brand new show. So welcome to Morning Extra, extra news, extra live guests, extra weather, an extra dose of our faces, that's for sure. <laughs> no, thank you for tuning in today. I'm Michelle Medina. And I'm Heather Myers. Let's get you caught up on your weather forecast on this Wednesday, very last day of May. And boy, do we have that May gray out there. You may even notice a little bit of drizzle on your windshield as you head out the door. Grab the light jacket now. Beach friends, you will need that all day today. Limited clearing, 67 degrees along the coastline, 75 inland, 72 in the mountains today, 96 degrees in the desert. Your complete eight-day microclimate forecast is coming right up. New this morning, downtown streets back to normal after a night of gunfire. A shooting suspect is now in custody. Thankfully, no one was hit, but police say the ident unidentified gunman was heavily armed. News H, Gene Kang is live downtown near 4th and Cedar with an update, Gene. Good morning, Heather and Nichelle. We have new information on the morning extra. I've been talking to neighbors waking up this morning. They say it was a rude awakening. They heard loud bangs all morning long. Those were gunshots. Now, police arrested that man at this corner in downtown San Diego in a very busy area. After canvassing the area, they say nobody was hurt, which is the good news. As you take a look, though, we have a lot of questions for officers. So why was that man going around firing shots into the air randomly? They still don't know. Police 
police say witnesses called 911 after they heard gunfire erupt. When officers showed up, their canine unit approached that armed man where we are live this morning. This is 4th and Cedar Street. They say he had walked about two blocks while shooting off multiple weapons, including a shotgun and a mini rifle, along with a bunch of ammunition. Officers say he had one gun in his hand and another firearm in a sling over his left shoulder. They found casings all over the street. It all went down at about 2.30 this morning in an area of downtown San Diego with many condominiums and businesses. Startling for neighbors, but was he under the influence? I don't see that as far as any, uh, any indication that he's impaired. He's pretty cognitive. He's answering our questions. So I was just kind of sitting there and then I was had the TV on, but then I just heard like bang, bang, bang. And I, was, I, didn't, I didn't think it was a gunshot like, or anything like that. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm part of the military, so I, I know what it sounds like, but it maybe it just came because it came off the echo of the building. That neighbor, Mark, says that he was part of the Army. Now, the sergeant says the suspect is in his 30s. That's what we know so far. They don't have a motive at this time. Fortunately, after testing for gunpowder residue and also speaking to any witnesses who were here during the time, police say nobody was hurt and no property was damaged. Back out here live, coming up on the morning extra, uh, we're going to look into possible charges for this suspect. He is now in the downtown jail. We're also going to look into his prior criminal history back to you. All right, Gene, an investigation underway after a woman returned to her Rancho Santa Fe home to find her husband dead. Authorities were called to the 17,000 block of La Brisa yesterday. Authorities have only said the victim was a 71 year old with obvious trauma to his upper body. They have not released his name or cause of death. Call Crime Stoppers if you have any information. Sentencing today for a man who tried to kidnap a girl outside of her Solana Beach school. Jack Doshea pleaded guilty to kidnapping and assault charges in the 2015 incident. Prosecutors say he wrapped duct tape around the girl's head before trying to carry her away. She fought back and escaped. Doshea will be sentenced to 10 years and four months. He'll also be required to register as a sex offender for life. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn will provide some of the documents asked by the Senate Intelligence Committee. He initially refused to comply with subpoenas invoking the fifth, but a source says he negotiated a deal with senators to hand over less material. According to the source, business-related documents will be released, but not personal ones. Flynn faces a June 6 deadline to turn those papers over. Meantime, the president's personal attorney told the House Intelligence Committee he will not cooperate in its probe into Russia. Michael Cohen says he will only testify if Congress issues a subpoena. After Flynn, Cohen is the second person with strong links to the president to reject a request from investigators in Congress. A major national security test off the West Coast was successful. The military says a missile launched from Vandenberg Air Force Base near Santa Barbara collided with an airborne target over the Pacific, imitating an incoming enemy warhead. The test, the first since 2014, comes after after North Korea has launched nine tests of its own this year, including three in just the past three weeks. Kim Jong-un is not going to fire a missile at the United States if he knows that it's going to be intercepted and destroyed, because he knows then we will have to retaliate. The Pentagon says this is just one element in a broader strategy to deal with threats from missiles. Time check right now, 706. The state Senate has approved a bill that would send middle and high school students to class one hour later. I think the students are celebrating this. Experts are saying that later start time is a good idea and it will improve test scores and overall mental health. News 8's Carrie Lane is outside Claremont High School with how both sides, parents, students and teachers feel. Carrie? I think initially we all want that extra hour of sleep, right? But you got to think about the consequences. You stay in school longer. This is definitely a topic that has sparked some heated debate. And it's one that has people talking about the science of sleeping patterns of middle schoolers and high schoolers. And whether the simple answer is just that they need to go to bed earlier. So the state Senate did pass a bill yesterday that wouldn't allow teenagers in the state of California to start their school day before 830 in the morning. Some Republican lawmakers feel this would just enable students to 
stay up later and that this wouldn't give them an accurate sense of what it's like in the workforce. Opponents also say the later start time could affect collective bargaining agreements with teachers and other school employees. As for those that support the bill, they are going with the recommendation from the American Academy of Pediatrics along with other medical groups. Now they believe early school start times substantially increase the risk of weight gain, eating disorders, obesity, depression and car crashes, just to name a few. They say the morning sleep time is the most valuable for student health and that sleeping patterns change during puberty, making it hard for a teenager to go to sleep before 11 o'clock. The study also showed students' test scores going up, their attendance improving, and graduation rates going up. Now, currently, all but one of the traditional high schools in the San Diego Unified School District do start by 7.30, so this would impact a lot of people if it were to happen. We're back out here live. Now, this bill is not a guarantee. It does still have to be passed by the Assembly, and if it does get approved, then it wouldn't take effect until 2020. Coming up new at 7.30, we talked with some parents as well as students on their thoughts. And as you can imagine, Heather and Nichelle, it's a clear divide. We'll send it back to you for now. All right, Carrie, thanks. Frightening video has surfaced of a suspected drunk driver plowing through the Ocean Beach boardwalk, narrowly missing people. This happened just this past Sunday. This is unbelievable. The driver, though, scheduled to be in court today facing misdemeanor DUI and hit and run. News 8's Abby Alford reports on what we've learned about his criminal past. Watch as this gold Chevy Impala pushes through the crowd on the Ocean Beach boardwalk near the pier on Sunday, Memorial Weekend. People were chasing. Dan Lottoff says to avoid getting hit, his friend pulled him over the wall while others tried to stop the Pennsylvania driver. I'm over here with my friend. We're right there on the wall. You can see others try to pull the door handle, warning the driver. No. It's unknown if the driver popped the parking block or he pulled around at the end of the pier, but he ends up taking out ice chests and taking out a pole for a handicap sign. He was crying. Uh, he went by, he looked up at me and said, uh, help me. San Diego police say they got the call around 5.30 on Sunday Memorial Weekend at the Ocean Beach Pier in the parking lot. It goes Officers say moments later they arrested 36-year-old Jacob Shushak for DUI and hit and run. The OB bubble man, Paul Saccone, says he missed the incident by minutes and he's glad another local stepped in. That's, yeah, that's good that he went and did that. That's awesome. Good for him. News 8 found Pennsylvania court records online and found Sushak had run-ins with the law before. He was arrested in 2006 for a DUI and parole violations. A Schuylkill County judge revoked the driver's parole and sent him back to prison last year, saying the only time you're clean is when you're in jail. Now Sushak is back in jail in San Diego County, accused of DUI and plowing through beachgoers on Memorial Weekend. That's so scary. What if there's like a little kid right there? Abby Alford, CBS News 8. SeaWorld preparing to unveil two new attractions today to replace the Shamu show. Ocean Explorer features a submarine ride and aquariums. Orca Encounter still uses killer whales, but for what the park calls a more educational program. SeaWorld discontinued the Shamu show after public backlash and declining attendance. A third new exhibit, Electric Ocean, is scheduled to debut June 17th. Now, your microclimate forecast. Here's Heather Myers. Well, good morning to you on this Wednesday. Hey, thank you so much for joining us for our very first show here, News 8 Morning Extra on the CW. Joining you now every morning from 7 to 9 a.m. with more news and, of course, more weather. Wish I didn't have to share this May Gray forecast with you this morning. We have those clouds all the way out to our inland communities, down to five miles of visibility for Ramona, three for Fallbrook. Your coastal commute should be A-OK, -okay, even under those clouds. Upper 50s, low 60s for almost all of San Diego County at this hour at 61 in Oceanside, as well as down downtown 60 right now in Poway. Two degrees warmer compared to 24 hours ago for Oceanside and Del Mar, as well as Miramar and El Cajon. Not a huge temperature change for the rest of the county. As we get into the afternoon, though, coastal temperatures hovering right around the same mark as Tuesday. Inland temps, though, we will see a cool down just for one day only, though. We'll top out at 66 degrees in National City, 67 for folks in IB today, right at 73 in El Cajon. Mid-60s for our North County Beach location, 70 for San Marcos, 75 in
live in Ramona today. Here is a look at your eight day microclimate forecast as we will start to see those temperatures rebound beginning tomorrow and then back to the upper 70s for inland communities mid 80s by Friday. Are you craving that sunshine friends? It'll be here Friday through the weekend. 72 degrees in our mountains for today. 80 by Friday. 96 in the desert. That's seasonal for this time of year, but get ready for the tri triple digit heat. It makes a comeback in Borrego starting Friday. That's a look at your forecast. Michelle, let's get back over to you. But what do they say, Heather? It's a dry heat. All right, thank you. The nation's best spellers are in Washington, D.C. for the Scripps Spelling Bee. Nearly 300 spellers will get the chance to spell out two words on stage. This year's competition features both the youngest ever competitor, a six-year-old. Yes, you heard me, a six-year-old from Oklahoma and the largest ever field of contestants. Pacific Trails Middle School 8th grader Yash Handy is representing our county and we wish him the best of luck because those things are intense. You feel their pressure coming through the television. Did you say a six-year-old? Six-year-old. Six years old. Six years wow. old. Wow. When my six-year-old can write his own name, I think that I'm raising a genius. Mine won't even clean up her toys. <laughs> <laughs> so. Slowly but surely they will get there. Eventually. All right. We have a lot coming up on News 8 Morning Extra for you this morning ahead. We will be talking with the DSC live on KFM BFM. But first, the wife of a fallen Marine is helping other military families cope with the loss of their loved ones. Her story next. And we have a chance to hear from this guy, you know, his face, the Hoff, why he's trying to put Funner, California on the map. The Doctors, weekdays at 11 on the CW San Diego. 26 bones, hundreds of ligaments and tendons. That's a lot to go wrong, Doctor. What does the Good Feet Arch Support System do? A redistribution of weight, better support for the entire body. It can relieve pain. Yes. Put your foot in a more ideal position to better support your foot and whole body, pain-free. So why do I need help, doctor, figuring out which arch supports I need? Arch size, shoe size, two totally different animals. I have never heard that. High arches, low arches. Yeah, it makes sense. Visit Good Feet for a free personal fitting. Breeze through summer in style at Macy's. Take 40% off three or more of the season's absolute must-have shoes for her. And 40 to 50% off the hottest bedding and bath trends during our summer home sales. Now at Macy's Summer Sale. Wouldn't it be great if you could just tell your remote what you want to watch instead of having to push a bunch of buttons? Cox's Contour TV voice remote lets you do this. Show me comedy horror movies. So easy, it's scary. Now let's try AT&T U-verse. Comedy movies. Horror movie. Any movie? If you're with AT&T U-verse, you might want to take a U-turn. Take the Cox Challenge. Get a better bundle with Contour TV, up to 50 megs internet and phone. Just $89.99 a month with no contract. What do you look for in a carpet cleaning company? You want a patented process that doesn't bring nasty chemicals into your home. The Zero Res experience is easy, comfortable, and safe. Go ahead. Book online today. ZeroSanDiego.com. ZeroSanDiego.com. Motorcycles are beautiful and powerful machines. Unfortunately, many drivers are careless when it comes to sharing the road with bikers. The lawyers at Salino and Barnes know motorcycle law and have helped many injured bikers get the settlement they deserve. If you've been hurt in a motorcycle accident, call one of our nation's largest personal injury law firms. Don't wait. Call eight. Salino and Barnes, injury attorneys, 800-888-8888. Don't wait. Call eight. This will not be your end. I will not rest until I bring you back. When that pendant was shattered, Elijah's mind shattered with it. You need to go inside and find him. He could be anywhere in over a thousand years of memories. But be careful. His mind is unstable. Why is that being there? The Originals. All new this Friday on The CW San Diego. Turning grief into action. That's what a North County woman has done following the death of her Marine husband. Lieutenant Colonel Mario Sugarbear Carrazzo was killed in Afghanistan in 2010. Now his wife is making sure his memory lives on, supporting surviving spouses and children of fallen troops. He died doing what I think he was meant to do on this earth. High on top of Mount Soledad, where heroes are honored. 
That's one of my favorite pictures of him. He's beaming and we were at the ball. He's so happy. Is one Marine memorialized? So this is Mario. Lieutenant Colonel Mario Sugar Bear Carrazzo would have been celebrating a birthday, but on this day, his wife Jennifer came to remember a man who put country first. He said to me, it's better that it's me that dies than some young kid on the ground. Lieutenant Colonel Carrazzo was killed July 22, 2010, when his Cobra was shot down in Afghanistan. The Camp Pendleton Marine and father of two was 41 years old. We had 20 incredible years, two amazing kids. We have a good life, and he's still with us. He's still with us in his own way. Do you feel him? Oh, yeah. Over the last seven years, the couple's children, Mario, now 16, and Mila, 14, have had to face challenges most haven't. But in the family's loss and pain has come hope. This Gold Star wife now finds comfort sharing her story. Last year, it was the creation of the Sugar Bear Foundation that changed everything. It's an extension of what Mario was trying to do. You know, he wanted to serve our country, but he also cared about the families of, of the service members. He can't be here, so we're, we're going to do that for him. And she is. The nonprofit hosts events raising money for programs that support surviving spouses and children of fallen service members. I want them to know there are people out there, there are organizations out there that truly, truly care about them and their sacrifice and the sacrifice of their hero. With her hero looking down, Jennifer finds solace and strength in her new mission, honoring heroes like hers while inspiring others. You have to stay positive. You know, I, I just, I never wanted my kids to look back and think we lost daddy and we lost our mom because of this. She is an incredible woman and you can help Jennifer and the Sugar Bear Foundation with an upcoming event. The foundation will hold Sugar Bears Crawl for a Cause this Sunday, June 4th. It's gonna take place from 1 p.m. to 3.30 at D Street Bar and Grill in Encinitas. Money raised benefits the Tragedy Assistance Program for Survivors or TAPS. If you'd like more information, go to our website, thecwsandiego.com, click on the hot button. And I just want to thank Jennifer for giving me the privilege yeah. of telling her story and, of course, introducing you to Mario and just what an American hero he is. To say something bold like that, I would rather it be me sacrifice myself right. for my country than some young Marine on the ground. I mean, that just is a testament to the person that he was. And his legacy lives on through that foundation and, of course, his two beautiful children. What an incredibly strong woman. I think she, she sums is. it up well. She didn't want her kids to not only lose their dad, but their mother and all this, too. So, boy, is she doing her part. She is. Jennifer, thanks. Now, their news this morning, if you like to bring your laptop to local coffee shops, be careful because thieves are taking advantage of coffee shop customers who are bringing in their laptops to use the free Wi-Fi. In fact, in the past month, customers at at least two different local Starbucks say their laptops were stolen. It happened in the Mira Mesa Market Center and the one at the Rancho Carmel Road location. Two men usually working as a team scope out the coffee shop and then they wait until the customer is distracted or leaves that laptop unattended. Time check right now, 7.20. Take a look at your snack stash. There are two recalls to tell you about this morning. Simple Truth dry roasted macadamia nuts and Ava's organic cashews roasted and salted. Both are being recalled because of possible listeria contamination. No illnesses have been reported. If you bought any, throw them out or return them. For a refund. Median Kathy Griffin is now apologizing after that photo shoot of her holding up a bloody head resembling President Trump. And now there is backlash all over social media. I crossed the line, I moved the line, then I crossed it. I went way too far. The image is too disturbing. I understand how it offends people. It wasn't funny. I get it. And I beg for your forgiveness. I went too far. I made a mistake and I was wrong. Well, everyone from Donald Trump Jr. to Anderson Cooper tweeted that the photo was disgusting and inappropriate. Griffin removed the image from her own Twitter account. She also asked the photographer to take it down. That popular fearless girl statue on Wall Street had some company this week. The peeing pug. 
It's right there. It stood next to her for a few hours before somebody removed it. The smaller statue is of a dog relieving himself right at the girl's feet. The artist behind it says he wanted to send a message about the fearless girl being sponsored by a major investment firm. He also says the girl is intruding on the territory of that famous charging bull statue that it's facing. Well, tell me how you really feel, right? Singer and actress Olivia Newton-John battling breast cancer for a second time. The star, who is best known for her role as Sandy in the movie Grease, was set to hit the road for a tour, but it has been postponed. In a statement, the singer said she hopes to be back on the road later this year. Newton-John was declared cancer-free after battling the disease in 1992. Oh, wishing her all the best. Today is the National Senior Health and Fitness Day. Many organizations nationwide are celebrating by offering loads of special events featuring low-impact exercises. Don't you worry. They won't have you out there running a marathon. You can visit fitnessday.com backslash senior for a full list. So whether you get a trainer, you get outdoors, or just get to a gym, they say just get moving. That's right. It's good advice no matter what your age. Especially for those of us who are seated right now. <laughs> Get up all the time. <laughs> the president has a lot of people scratching their heads this morning. It's all because of this tweet. You may have seen it. It says in part, despite the constant negative coffee fee. Well, what is that word there? It appears to be an unfinished tweet with a typo. The hashtag coffee fee is now trending number one on Twitter overnight. Companies, get this, they've already started making t-shirts and mugs with this phrase on it. And one Twitter user said he even bought it for his California license plate. So you might end up seeing that car driving around town. Oh yeah, you're going to just see that word everywhere. Everyone's talking about it this morning. Capitalizing <laughs> off of it. <laughs> Coming up next, plans for the first ever marijuana festival in Del Mar have been, been put on hold. We'll explain why. And the Hoff, he's in town. He tells us why he's trying to put funner California on the map. Stay with us. News 8 Morning Extra continues right after this short break. In two days, discover an unexpectedly wondrous movie about the power of friendship and imagination. And I said not your pants! Your problem is that you can't laugh at yourself. Oh, really, Oprah? Is that my problem? DreamWorks Captain Underpants. Read PG. So when I decided that I was going to have my teeth done, we went in to see our prosthodontist, and after talking to him, I said, so if you're not doing it, who would you recommend? He said, well, there's only one other place to go, and that's Permadonics. I went in to see the people at Permadonics, and after going there, there was no other choice but to have them do my procedure. Now that I've seen my smile, I wish I had done it much earlier. Permadonics, UT's best. Call 877-SMILE-AGAIN today. You know what I could go for right now? Hmm. Some sweet barbecue. Oh, more spicy. We got a craving! <laughs> Here, try my barbecue bacon cheeseburger with your choice of sweet or spicy barbecue sauce topped with bacon and onion rings. Oh, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Jack. Jack. <laughs> Piece of cake. Oh, oh Jack. Jack. You crave it, we serve it. My new sweet or spicy barbecue bacon cheeseburger and chicken sandwich. Breeze through summer in style at Macy's. Take 40% off three or more of the season's absolute must-have shoes for her. And 40 to 50% off the hottest bedding and bath trends during our summer home sales. Now at Macy's Summer Sale. Right here, it's Mike and Molly and Max and Caroline. Mike! Molly. Max. Caroline. Or Molly and Caroline and Max and Mike. Molly. Caroline. Max! Mike. Wait, Caroline, Mike, Molly, and Max. Everything's backwards and upside down. Too many names must watch back-to-back -back comedies. Max. Caroline. Mervyn. What? Mike and Molly and two broke girls back-to-back. -back. Now you got it. Weekdays starting at 5 on The CW San Diego. Vote SDCCU for Best Credit Union in the Union. Tribune Readers Poll. Daily at sdbestpoll.com. San Diego County Credit Union. It's not big bank banking. It's better. This is a News 8 update with Michelle Medina. It is 726 right now. A man accused of shooting multiple weapons into the air is under arrest. 911 calls came in about gunshots being heard downtown overnight. Police searched and found an armed man on 4th and Cedar. They say the 30-year-old 
was holding a shotgun, rifle, and had lots of ammo. A K-9 unit found casings nearby. A suspected drunk driver accused of plowing through the OB boardwalk appears in court today. Witnesses took video of the incident as it happened over the Memorial Day weekend. Somehow, the driver found himself on the wrong side of the parking lot by the pier. He's barely squeezing through at this point. Look at that, almost hitting the crowd. I turned this way because I heard other things going on. Well, police later arrested a suspect, 36-year-old Jacob Suchak from Pennsylvania on charges of DUI and hit and run. Court records show he has a previous DUI charge and a parole violation. A local eighth grader is in Washington, D.C. for the Scripps National Spelling Bee. Pacific Trails Middle School eighth grader Yash Handi is representing the county. He's taking on nearly 300 spellers from across the country. This year has both the youngest ever competitor, a six-year-old, yes, you heard me, a six-year-old from Oklahoma, and the largest ever field of contestants. Right now, let's take a look at the forecast. Here's Heather. All right, the whole county will be cheering for Yash. Good morning to you on this Wednesday, very last day of May. And boy, do we have some stubborn cloud cover this morning. As we get into the afternoon, though, very limited clearing for the beach location. 67 degrees along the coastline for today. 75 degrees inland. 72 for our mountain communities. 96 degree heat in the desert. Slowly but surely, those temperatures start to bump back up as we get toward the weekend and more sunshine for you as well. Judge Judy, weeknights at 6 on The CW San Diego. To the friends who never back out. The ones who say hell yeah to happy hour. Always up for another round. TGI Fridays gives you endless apps. Forever. Always endless apps. Ten bucks. There is a place like no other. Where a walk on Wall Street is speed. Blah, blah, blah. Rocket and I need your help. The collector has trapped my friends, the Guardians of the Galaxy, in his weird freak show. Check it out. This is the joint we're in, and we need you to help us break out. Got it? Good. Now move it. Uh, I gotta go. Here, there is magic for days. This time every year, I'm on the lookout for them. Too many to count. Too wild to tame. The roller coaster kid, Chicken Charlie, and Swifty Swine. If you can't stop them, join them. Katie, unbar the door. Yeehaw, Sheriff, we're coming to the fair. June 2nd, 3rd, and 7th are Albertsons Vons $5 fair days. All fair admissions, just five bucks. Giddy up to the San Diego County Fair, presented by Albertsons Vons. To the friends who never back out, the ones who say hell yeah to happy hour. Always up for another round. TGI Fridays gives you endless apps. Forever. Always endless apps. Ten bucks. Carlo, Bubberly, Matt, and Kyle. Weeknights on News 8 at 7. Live from the KFMB studios, you're watching News 8 Morning Extra on the CW San Diego. New morning, new show, and thank you so much for joining us on our inaugural show at 7 a.m., I'm Michelle Medina. Same old faces, though. <laughs> You've been used to us by now. Who are you calling old? <laughs> this one, right no, here. No, not at all. Good morning to you. I'm Heather Myers. Let's get you caught up on your forecast before we continue on with News 8 Morning Extra right here on the CW. The clouds are a problem this morning, not creating a visibility issue, but the clouds are stretched all the way out to our inland communities yet again. Three miles of visibility for folks in Fallbrook, five for Ramona. As we get into the afternoon, limited clearing today and cooler temperatures inland. 67 degrees at the beaches, 75 inland, 70 in the mountains, 96 degrees in the desert. Coming up, I will tell you when warmer weather and more sunshine is on the way. New this morning, a man arrested downtown firing shots and police say carrying weapons and a lot of ammunition. Things are finally getting back to normal now in the Cortez Hill area, but police spent much of the early morning searching for a possible shooting victim. News H. Gene Kang is live near 4th and Cedar with what happened, Gene. 
Heather and Michelle, it was quite the scare for neighbors who say uh, now waking up. They're telling me that they heard those gunshots while they were trying to sleep. Well, that man, the suspect, was arrested right here at this corner in downtown San Diego. Just to set the scene, this is a pretty popular and busy area of town with a lot of condominiums and businesses all throughout. Now, why was he shooting randomly into the air? Police are still investigating that. Take a look. It all happened when most of you were sleeping uh, very dark. Police say witnesses called 911 after they heard a several gunshots when they arrived. Their canine unit approached that armed man here at 4th and Cedar Street. They say he had walked for about two blocks while he was just firing off multiple weapons. We're talking about a shotgun and mini rifle along with a lot of ammunition. Now officers say he had one gun in his hand and then the other firearm was in a sling over his left shoulder. He was just walking through the streets. It all went down at about 2.30 this morning in an area of downtown San Diego with a lot of people around. There were spent casings that were found at different locations. I can't give you the exact locations, but we did find those spent casings over there. This is what we know so far about that man. The sergeant says he is in his 30s. They don't even know if he lives here in the downtown San Diego area, but they don't have a motive. They're still looking into that. Fortunately, after testing for gunpowder residue and interviewing any witnesses,